You see these? Oh yeah, you definitely see these. These are my Waffenfabe, or my collar tabs, which now completes my entire ensemble. Well, it completes my tunic, but what the hey. I mean, this is the end of one chapter, and so we begin another. But right about now, just bask in the magnificence of how much work and time and effort I put into putting this entire thing together, which also includes my shoulder boards, the Reichsadler, which was a pain putting on, and a very special person actually helped me sew these on because I'm very terrible at sewing, and when it comes down to half-ass, I really wanted to put it into the hands of an individual who knew what they were doing. So yes, I'd like to thank that person as well. Thank you from the bottom of my heart because you completed my day. But I actually formed the shape of how the Lafenfabes or the collar tabs are. Well, I'm not going to give away that secret. That secret is mine because it's, it was de it was definitely a pain to put the how to shape them as well. I couldn't do anything else without the collar tabs. True, I could just go out there with my rank insignia and as well as my my affiliation insignia within the Wehrmacht with the Reichsadler, but I cannot complete the entire ensemble without the collar tabs. These collar tabs are just iconic within in nature. The Waffenfabe, in literal translation, is just um, what your specific job is within the Wehrmacht, because you definitely did have a lot of jobs within the military, not just infantry. There's, you have the infantry, tank corps, pioneers, which were combat engineers. You had combat medics, and most importantly of all, the very class that I've chosen myself is the Panzer Grenadiers, as you can plainly see. Now, the shape of the collar tabs is very unique within itself, but as you can also plainly see, that it has a big green line, which, which within itself is more iconic. However, what really tells the differences between which soldier is which is by the small little lines that is right between, that these two lines are right between the big line. It really highlights what job you have in the military. For mine, it's the Panzer Grenadier. As you can also see right here, the green piping around my rank insignia shoulder boards. That specific job that I had within, well, I'm supposed to have within the Wehrmacht if this uniform was still viable back in the 1930s and 40s. Now, the Panzer Grenadiers I really like and I really admired because these were the soldiers who were a part of the armored warfare throughout the entire war, which also began the invasion of Poland, the Battle of Greece, and eventually to Operation Barbarossa, which saw numerous amounts of German soldiers being a part of the Panzer Grenadier Corps. Because, number one, these troops had to be able to mount up, dismount from armored vehicles, and be able to sustain themselves and sustain the armored vehicles long enough so that the campaign was success. Because, in my opinion the best weapon within any arsenal is the infantry you gotta have the infantry as long as you have combat infantry alongside with your armored core or your armored vehicles you can ensure that they're they're safe especially if you have specially driven soldiers that will be able to dismount and mount up on armored vehicles and be able to go with you wherever you go this also means that troops no longer have to walk from great long distances from you can also use these troops to use heavier weapons like machine guns, the Panzerfaust, the Panzer Shrek, to combat bigger and badder um, armored cores, enemy armored cores to be specific. As long as you have the infantry that are able to protect the combat vehicles while out in the field, your protection and the longevity of your combat vehicles are, is assured because you have an entire squad holed up in a house, ready to do some damage, and making sure that other enemy infantry are staying away who supposedly have heavier weapons to deal with your tanks. That's very important. And that's one of the biggest, that, that's what I really admire about the Panzer Grenadiers because they were in the, they were in the shit. They were in the crap because I mean, almost every single engagement that dealt, that was dealt with in the Eastern Front usually had a tank battle alongside with it as well. These were rugged men. These were rugged troops. These were rugged individuals who were ready to go into battle alongside the tanks. Well, I can tell you right now, they're nothing but bullet magnets. They really are. All right, guys, that's pretty much all I got for you. And just to check out my sweet ass complete uniform, this is the end of a chapter. And off we go into another one because this is gonna be one of those long roads that we'll definitely see throughout the entire future. I gotta put, get all my field gear together, which hopefully I'll be able to, it's not gonna cost that much as well. But anyways, I'll have definitely have some more videos later on in the future, but right about now, be sure to enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll be sure to enjoy the rest of mine as well as I go out and training with this uniform and find a milsome event as well, because I know you guys are waiting for that. But be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and be sure to share this with your buddies. Let them know that there is someone out there who is a real 
World War II enthusiasts who actually took the time and a lot of effort to put one of these uniforms together. Now I understand why Germans wanted these uniforms so badly. They wanted to put one of them on so badly, especially during, well, before World War II kicked off. Well, again, guys, that's all I got for you. This is Skinwalker, signing off.